know your flame picture. Remember when you're viewing a flame picture, a properly aerated flame will have two parts to it. It will have the very luminous pointed inner cone or inner mantle and the almost invisible outer cone or outer mantle. So that's a properly aerated flame. So we're going to see what happens when I start to restrict the uh, uh, oxygen to the, the Bunsen burner by twisting the collar, we'll see that the very first thing to go is the blue in the cone. Okay, still giving us a nice blue flame. Okay, and it's only when we get round and totally cut the air off does it go yellow. So, even though a flame's blue doesn't mean the combustion's good. What we're looking for on good combustion, the correct stoichiometry ratio is that in a cone. And if you look at a burner and you can see that in a cone, there are all sorts of different sizes and shapes, you know you've got good combustion. Just because it's blue doesn't mean it's good. And very rarely do you find it that obvious. Oh, combustion is a chemical reaction. The chemical reaction starts here and ends here. Anything that prevents the completion of that chemical reaction will produce carbon monoxide. So, as I close the collar, we actually start to get carbon monoxide being produced. In quite low levels to start with, but as we turn it around and get to our yellow flame, we will see carbon monoxide being produced by this uh, flame here. Carbon monoxide is something we should all be terrified of. It takes very little to kill you. In fact, around about, if the room we were in contained around about one and a half percent carbon monoxide it would kill myself and the cameraman probably in about five minutes. Marvellous. Okay, so carbon monoxide comes on very much like a cold, headache, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, erratic behaviour, diarrhoea, all the usual things you go out for on a Friday and Saturday night to achieve really. So best thing you can do is if you think you've got carbon monoxide a problem in your house, get a carbon monoxide detector, or you can always go to the doctor and have a COHB blood test, which is your carbon monoxide in your haemoglobin blood test. If you do start to feel dizzy when the appliance is on, go outside. If you feel better, best thing to do is to turn that appliance off and get a gas safe engineering to check it out for you. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.